Every environment in Frame has its own settings. So let's have a look what these settings do. You have to be the owner or admin of a Frame environment to edit these settings. So you open the settings by clicking on the icon at the right top and then you select the Frame tab and then the Frame settings. At the top you see the branding options. That is only available if you have a Founder Premium account. So let's skip this. Next you see the link to this frame. And next you can protect your environment with a password. So if someone clicks on the link, you will be asked to enter a password, even if you are the owner. If you want to delete the password, just click on the bin to remove it. Next you have the environment choice, where you can pick one out of over 20 pre-made environments. Or you can upload one yourself. Next you can set the user capacity to 5, 10 or 15 users that are allowed in this environment. If you want more than 15 users, you can buy these. More information can be found at the FrameVR website. In this free version, you can still have more than 15 if you enable the spectator mode. Now an extra 15 users can log in, but they will not be able to use the webcam or microphone and their avatar won't show, but they can use the text chat to join the conversation. When you allow spectators, the opening screen will show two ways to log in. Next you see a button to switch to single user. If you switch this, every user will enter the environment on his own and will not meet the other users. Next you can set the microphones on or off by default when they enter the environment. If they are off, they can switch them on by clicking the microphone icon at the bottom of the screen. You can select if you want text chat in this environment. The chat history can be stored, so when you log in at a later time you can still see what the users have been text chatting about. You can enable auto seat. You can switch the voice zones on and off. You can enable flying, so users can go up and down using the page up and page down buttons of their keyboard. You can enable a small basketball game. If you enable it, there will be an extra icon at the bottom of your screen. If you click on that, a basketball and a basket will show and you can play with it. You can enable a Ready Player Me avatars, which is explained in another video on how to choose an avatar. Next one is important. Non-admins can only edit assets they upload. If you enable this, then every user with the rank of member or anyone can only edit or delete their own content which they brought into this environment, so they cannot mess around with the content of others. Owners and admins can always move and delete all content. If you make someone an admin, you can select here if this new admin also has the right to make others admin too. So you have to trust each other if you enable this. If you allow others to remix, then actually you are giving away your environment. Other users can copy the environment including all content to a new frame. The next option plays a sound when somebody enters the environment. This way you know that someone entered. You can enable the sky. You can show wall buttons. Some of the pre-built environments have built-in wall buttons that an admin or member can use to place an asset on that wall. This is handy when you for instance want to place a streaming screen on the right place. The bin deletes the asset again. The last two options are about 360 photospheres. This is explained in a video about photospheres. The permissions we will skip because they are already explained in another video. The next option is only for the owner. You can get a notification when someone enters the environment. Even when you are not in the environment yourself, you can receive an email that tells you who enters which environment, or a text message on your phone, or a message on Slack. When you select text, you have to fill in your mobile phone number. Generate NavMesh we'll explain in a video about 3D objects. Next you see some technical information on the performance and you can fill in a description of the environment. And the last one is a button to delete the frame 
which is only for the owner. If you delete it, the name of this environment will be released again for others to use. Well, that's all about the settings. Have fun!